All right, so we're going to start talking today about oblique triangles. That means non-right triangles. Uh, so most of the ways that we know how to solve sides or angles in a triangle involve trig functions, right? So if you have a right triangle, you can use SOHCAHTOA, uh, which is a way to find the sine, cosine, or tangent. Uh, if you're missing only one side and you know the other two sides of a right triangle, you can use Pythagorean theorem. So, uh, so again, if we have a right triangle, right? So we have a right triangle, we can use SOHCAHTOA right, katoa, and we can use Pythagorean theorem, right? Um, and those are great, right? So we use Sokotoa anytime we're looking at things that relate to angles. We use Pythagorean theorem anytime we're looking at things that relate to sides. And that's great if you have a right triangle. The problem is if you have a non-right triangle, which again we call oblique, uh, when you have a non-right triangle, neither of those things work. So if you have a right triangle, that's great. If you have a non-right triangle, you need other options. So uh, if you have an oblique triangle. What we're going to learn in this uh, section and what we'll, we'll do moving forward are, are two rules. Uh, we're going to learn the law of sines, which involves using a sine function. We're going to learn the law of cosines. And then we're going to learn a formula uh, that helps us find area, which we're going to call Heron's formula. So Heron's formula or Heron's equation. So, uh, so that's kind of the primary focus of this particular section is dealing with non-right triangles. Before we move forward to actual lessons, let's talk a little bit about labeling triangles. Um, so when we label a non-right triangle, and I'm going to draw this completely and totally not to scale, but when we draw some random non-right triangle, whatever vertex I label as a capital A, I'm going to label the opposite side, the one not touching that vertex with a lowercase a. So the vertex or the angle itself will be called capital A. The opposite side from that would be called lowercase a. If I call this vertex capital B, then the side that's not touching that capital B, right? So these two sides are touching it. The opposite side is going to be a lowercase b. And if I call this vertex C, then the side not touching it is going to be a lowercase c. Uh, my lowercase and uppercase c's look about the same, but you get the gist. So an important piece of information here is that my vertices and my angles are capital letters and my sides are lowercase letters, right? So that's true in a right triangle as well. Uh, it's true the easiest way to label any triangle, uh, but in this instance, it's going to be more important because there is no right angle. Uh, so that's the first piece of information that we need to be aware of, right? So big A, big C, and big B are the angles. Uh, little a, little b, and little c are these sides. Uh, cool. Uh, when I am asked to solve a triangle, right, so to, if they, you're asked to solve the triangle, what they're asking you to do is they're asking you to find the measures of all sides and all angles. So the way I personally do this, right, so this, this is saying find the measure of all sides and all angles, right? So me personally, I have a really short attention span and I forget what I'm doing on the daily. So when I do this, I tend to write out my angles, capital A, capital B, capital C, right? And then I tend to write out my corresponding sides, uh, lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase c. And then I would fill in the things I know and I would leave blank the things I don't, but that way I can't forget to find all six things, 